Our elders say, if a child falls, he looks forward. But if an adult falls, he looks back. Hmm. Words of wisdom. To look back means to examine the cause of fall and ensure sh- such sleep does not repeat itself. Once in a while, it's always good to look back and enjoy the great memories of those good old days with a view of learning from the past and take necessary steps to make tomorrow better. Ngozi Awele Adele is my name and here is my good old day story. I hail from Ila, Delta State. My father's name is Mr. Lawrence Ofodili Ophili, who worked with an Indian company. I my mother, a petty trader. Mrs. Chukumalobi Ophili, I am the third child of the eight children. Growing up was not too easy. Training eight children with a lean income was like magic. Dad wanted us to be the best. His desire was for us to reach the peak of our chosen career and he did all he could. We had to manage. Sometimes, use what was known as Abasha stove. Then, we ate Gari Jebu, managed it with watery beans. We went on Formula 101. You know what we call Formula 101 then. You take your breakfast, skip lunch, and wait for dinner. <laughs> Yet, we had to jump on our reading table. At the sound of my dad's old Volvo on to pick a book to read. As tough as my upbringing was, a growing child will always be a growing child. I had my bit of pranks too, you know. I always remember climbing the GP tank, using it as what we call Jangrova, until one day the tank dropped because of my consistent dragging of the rod attached to the tank. It was fun to me though. Never knew it was a destructive move. Of course, I got the beating of my life when it was discovered I was a culprit. Oh, I forgot to say I was born in Ebutemeta. But we later moved to Ota, where I had my primary school certificate in Adodo Ota, local government primary school. I wrote my common entrance and got admitted to Igomode Grammar School Ota. Yeah, the Ota people. They are very accommodating. No one ever considered us not to be part of them. Instead, I was given Yoruba names on different occasions to make me feel cool and comfortable. This made childhood easier and bonding amongst Yorubas less of a challenge. Predictably, I became a Yoruba by marriage and there has not been any discrimination whatsoever. Life while in school. Like I said earlier, was not too rosy. So I had to move in with a teacher turned uncle who incidentally is from the same village with us. Oh, living with my uncle. Mr. Patrick Chukudifu gave me a lot of reminiscences. He was a chemistry teacher and also doubled as a male hostel housemaster. He took me like his own daughter. Made sure I studied hard and came out tops in my secondary school after which I gained admission into the University of Lorraine to study chemistry and graduated with honors. There's something about fate, as in F-A-T-E, which makes life more interesting. I never wanted to be a teacher. As a matter of fact, I turned down a teaching appointment immediately after graduation. I never thought I would eventually turn a teacher, let alone share the same office with my uncle. But by twist of fate, I found myself grabbing the teaching profession 10 years after graduation with the help of Mr. Adramo Adeogun, also a teacher in Ogun State. And after 16 solid years now, I have been teaching chemistry passionately. And if you must know, I am proud to teach chemistry. It became more interesting and beautiful when I was transferred to the same school, Igomade Grammar School, where I shared the same laboratory with my uncle turned father, Mr. Chukudifu, who is now a retired senior citizen of the Ogun State Teaching Service. 
Indeed, what goes around comes around. Each time I step into that class to teach, it brings not just sick moments, and I'm always fired to do more to ensure my student passed out in flying colors just like I did. I wish we had, in our schools, tutors who are more passionate about the profession and not those who came into teaching by accident or lack of what to do. I wish we were able to bring back those standards that made us who we are. I wish the home would also give a helping hand by imparting the needed morals that will help students to be stable and diligent in school. We have a collective responsibility to ensure we build a total child who is not only morally upright but educationally sound. This is a clarion call. A call for us to revisit those old time tested values of integrity, discipline, patriotism, hard work, dedication, humility, good character, and high moral standards. It is time for us to call the emerging generation to borrow a leaf from our past when there was dignity in labor, honesty, perseverance, and belief in God. Who is the author and finisher of our faith? Let's shun Trauber's sentiments and embrace religious tolerance. Let us ask ourselves, what legacy are we leaving behind for our children? They deserve a future that is greater than our past. We owe them a duty to lead them right. Let our children embrace communal training as a behavior molder. Let parents also encourage same. If I didn't subject myself to my uncle's discipline, I am certain I won't be where I am today. The community must therefore play a major role in the upbringing of a child. Let's go back to the good old days where integrity and high moral standard reign supreme. I, therefore, join Sir Shemore Badejo in this collective selfless and patriotic drive towards a greater tomorrow for not only our children but for us too. Thank you.